Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. It is in fact Toner Tuesday and I'm really excited to share with you today's product spotlight. I kind of switched it up today and we are going to be taking a look at the Pareto Fermented Complex 94 Boosting Essence. Um, I want to include essences in my Toner Tuesdays because I feel like that's where they fit the best. <laughs> Essences are kind of part of the toner family and a lot like a toner, um, except that they tend to have a higher concentration of certain ingredients where toners are a little more watered down. But all in all, they are very similar and are usually used in the same area or step of the skincare routine and can be interchangeable for the most part. But anyways, before we get into the details of this, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below and click the bell so you can see all my future videos right away. Ring the bell, ring the bell. I totally have that song stuck in my head and it keeps going off over and over and over. Is that even what she says in that song? I think so. <laughs> Anyways, we are taking a look here at the Pareto Fermented Complex 94 Boosting Essence. Um, so I haven't used much out of this bottle, uh, but it is a repurchase and I use this over the winter a bit. And then I went a month or so before getting the Misha Time Revolution First Treatment Essence. And I have been using and loving that. <laughs> um, but I'm going through that a little too fast for my liking and I don't want it to end. So about a week ago I decided to use this at night and then use the Misha during the day or vice versa. Just one in the morning and the other at night, depending on how I feel that day. Um, and I realized that last time I used this, I used it wrong. <laughs> I thought the time revolution was the first time that I had ever used a first treatment essence, but technically this one is too. They just call it a boosting essence instead. Uh, but according to the instructions, it is meant to be used before your other skincare, excluding like your lower pH actives, um, since this is pH balancing. Um, so this time around, I am going to be using it before my other toners and essences and serums, etc., and see if it seems to work better or differently than the last bottle that I used. Um, but anyways, looking at the Pareto website, they say the fermented complex 94% highly concentrated microparticles, which are designed to help ingredients penetrate deeper into the skin. This essence has a light and clear texture that helps to revitalize dull skin. It contains skin lightening ingredients such as niacinamide and adenosine to increase skin elasticity and improve its texture. This product fills the skin with moisture and keeps skin hydrated for a longer time. So that sounds pretty good and I have to agree that this does deliver some really good hydration and some moisture as well. Um, the highlight ingredients being the five fermented plant extracts in here, they are great for helping other skincare to be more effective, brighten up the skin, help build up our skin barrier, and possibly help with some anti-aging. The 3% niacinamide that's in here also helps with brightening of the skin, but also helping to control sebum production and help with acne and offers anti-inflammatory properties as well. It has some good antioxidant ingredients like green tea, and then the green tea along with allantoin um, and some other plant extracts also offer soothing and calming properties to the skin. It has great hydrating ingredients such as butylene glycol, arginine, glycerin, and of course sodium 
hyaluronate, a form of hyaluronic acid. But overall, this ingredient list is amazing. I can't find anything wrong with it. It doesn't contain any fragrance or essential oils. It's also alcohol free, so it'd be good for sensitive skin. The essence is um, pretty watery, but it does have like some, sorry, the sun's really cramping my style here. Um, it does have some viscosity and body, but it soaks into the skin really well. It's not greasy. It doesn't leave a film. Um, and it just, it's very hydrating and plumping with a tiny bit of moisture. Um, this essence seems to be like it would be a good fit for most skin types, including the sensitive skin. Um, if you have drier or really dehydrated skin, then maybe using two layers of this or making sure to follow with another hydrating toner would probably be best. I don't think this would be quite enough on its own for very dry skin. However, if you have more oily skin or combo skin leaning oily, I think this would be really good on its own and then follow maybe with your serums, moisturizer, and sunscreen or, you know, whatever other skincare products you would like because that's what skincare is about. Um, I do really enjoy this product. It's not too expensive either. It's around $20, give or take, if you can find it on sale. Um, my last bottle lasted about three months of using it every day. Um, and it's the typical 150 ml bottle size. Um, I would love to know your thoughts. If you have tried this essence before or if you are using it now, was it good for your skin type? Did you see results using this product? Well, friends, I hope you enjoyed today's Toner Tuesday video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and give this video a big thumbs up. I hope you all have a skintastic day, and I will see you soon.